Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com and this is a quick tutorial on how to build the Estes Cosmic Cobra rocket. It's an interesting rocket. It's a pretty pretty big rocket. It's uh, 19 and a half inches long and 1.35 in inches wide and it's also unusual in that the, the fins are um, plastic and uh, unusually shaped and it has a helicopter nose cone recovery and uh, for tools and supplies you're going to need scissors some uh, plastic cement this is the kind of cement used on models this is some some white or yellow glue an exact some kind of an exacto or hobby knife a little bit of sandpaper and uh, some masking tape that's and, and a ruler those are what you need as far as um, tools goes now when you take a look inside this package whenever you get a, a rocket like this you should always inspect it make sure everything's okay and that you have everything according to the parts list we've got um, the, the, the tube the fin assembly which is three parts we've got the parachute the sticker that's going to go on it and then we've got the um, helicopter assembly which is three fins and the helicopter mounting parts in a little bag here so there's not a whole lot to this rocket. This this rocket will go together real quick and you don't even have to paint it. I apply some plastic cement to the inside of the tube and then insert your fin assembly right like that. Now it's important that you put the plastic cement on the inside of the tube and not on this. That'll make for a better hold. Now let's mount our launching lug on here. You take a ruler and you mark off four inches and six and a half inches from this edge here. And then you take your launching lug here and you put it on there. Now this is going to be right in the middle of a fin. Right in the middle of the fins here. Don't put it like this. Put it right in the middle because it's going to ride on the bar. And then take it and push it into your rocket gently, so the little uh, knobs on the bottom make indentations. And then take a tool and make little holes in that, so the knobs will sit. So the knobs on the bottom of this will sit right in there. Once you get those holes satisfactory, so it sits flat, then glue it right in place. Okay, next we uh, apply some plastic cement to the blade ring. And notice there's a notch on this, and there's a bevel on here. So you apply the plastic cement to the bevel, and then you attach that with the notch matching the notch on the nose cone here. Push it down nice and strong and make sure it's nice and straight. Push it down nice and strong, yeah, make sure it's nice and straight, and let that dry. Okay, now take that, once that's dried, take the nose cone out and try it to make sure it fits in there nicely, just like that. It should fit in with no problem. This, this shouldn't interfere with anything. Just like that. Okay, next we make the shock cord. Put it down like that. Fold over section one. Put some more glue on there. Fold it over again. Squeeze it tight. And then you apply that to the inside of the tube. And you don't put that right on the inside of the tube. You bring it in about an inch. And then set it in at least an inch. There we go. Okay, now um, let's reinsert the three blades into the uh, into the blade ring. And uh, there's definitely a way to do this and a way not to do this. There's backwards. But if you put it in, there's a little edge on this that's on the top. So that the blade goes like this and it only opens up this far. See? And once you do that, you put a rubber band on there. And this is a little tricky, but you get the rubber band in here. Get the rubber band in here. I 
then stretch it out so it's on here. So see it. And do that for all three, of course. Now you make a loop in your shock cord with a double knot. Then you take your parachute, you put it, you put the three loops through it like this. Make sure you get all three loops. There are three loops or six strings on that. Feed it through, and then feed your parachute through it, so it connects like that. Simple enough. Okay, I've applied the decal there. Of course, don't try to put it over the launch log. There we go. Okay, now you put crumple up three or four pieces of recovery wadding and put them in there before you put your parachute in. Now let me show you how to do this parachute. You uh, spike it like this, fold it, in, fold it about a third, and then roll up both sides like this to the middle. Just wrap it loosely. Just loose, don't wrap it tight. And insert that right in there. Push the recovery water down if you have to. There's plenty of room in the body of that rocket. And then, put the nose cone on. And you gotta be careful with the nose cone that the rubber bands don't stick out. You'll see in the directions it shows you what they mean. Get the rubber bands so they don't stick out. And then you put those in there. And there we go. So now all it needs left to doing is to put the engine, to put an engine in that and fire it off. And you're ready to go. So this is a real easy rocket to build. Uh, it's really great for beginners. I'm gonna take you maybe half an hour to do it, and uh, looks great. And it's kind of unique in that it's got that helicopter nose cone. What happens is this goes up on the initial charge and then when the, when the secondary charge blows off the nose cone blows off and then comes to the earth comes down uh, spinning on the propeller on the helicopter blades and the rocket itself comes down on the parachute so it's like two parts. Instead of coming down in one assembly it comes down in two. One is the, par uh, the rocket and one is the nose cone. So it's kind of fun and it looks different and it's a pretty good sized rocket. So it's kind of dramatic and it's easy to follow.